You should be able to answer these questions for your algebra class. For this, the numbers underneath the root sign are different, which means we can't just directly subtract this. But what you want to do is check if you can simplify one of the thirds. Looking at this one, we can simplify root 8. And so simplifying root 8, this is the same as the square root of 4 times 2, and then we've got the minus root 2. Splitting the first square root, this is going to be the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, and then minus root 2. The square root of 4 is equal to 2, and so this is going to be 2 times root 2, and then we've got minus root 2. Now we've got the same number underneath the root sign, and so we can combine these two thirds. 2 times root 2 minus 1 root 2 is equal to 1 root 2, and so this is equal to root 2. Now if you want to understand thirds much better, then get this book because everything is explained in simple terms. There's a whole chapter on adding and subtracting thirds. It will take you a couple of minutes to read, and then there's all these examples that you can follow to learn exactly how to work with thirds.